All right, guys, on today's video, I'm going to be showing you how you install the PGen emulator on the Nintendo Switch. Now, what this is going to allow you to do is to play five different Sega systems, including Sega CD, SG-1000, Game Gear, Genesis slash Mega Drive, and finally, Master System. I'm going to be leaving you all the links that you're going to need in the pinned comment of the video. So the first link is going to be from my page. So just scroll down the page until you find the wallpaper of the video. There's going to be one link, which is going to be for the PGN emulator download page. Now you're going to need to create a PGN folder with the NRO and then create a ROMs folder with for each system with its own formats. And then finally, you're going to need to create a BIOS folder with all the BIOS files. And then just copy the switch folder to the root of your Nintendo Switch's SD card with all the PGen contents. So now we're going to head over to the Game Brew website. Uh, for the emulator, you're going to scroll down the page until you find the download section. Now this is going to be a zip folder. You're going to need to unzip it using 7-Zip or WinRAR. Now over to the installation section. This is going to show you the exact um, ROM format and the folders and also all the BIOS files you're going to need to obtain. So now this is going to be the PGN folder. So it's going to have the BIOS folder with all the BIOS files. You're going to have a Game Gear folder, Mega CD folder, Mega Drive folder, SG-1000 folder, and finally SMS folder. Um, so you're also going to have the pgen.nro file. So now just copy the whole switch folder onto the root. And that's basically it on the computer. Now we're going to get over on the Nintendo Switch. I'll show you guys how to set up the emulator. Um, and what settings to change. And a little bit of gameplay. Alright guys, now we're on the Switch. Uh, so first thing we're going to do, we are going to check if we have the NRO. So to do that, you're going to go over to the album. You're going to scroll over. Uh, so we do have the emulator. Now we're going to hit the home button. Now these emulators need to run at the full RAM mode. So to do that, you're going to hold the R button while selecting a game. Or an application. Just like that. Uh, now the switch is running in full RAM mode. Now we're going to look for the emulator. You're going to press A to load it. Uh, now this is going to list your games. Um, on the left... Now the ones in white um, are the ones that you're going to add to the ROMs folder. Uh, the ones in red are just a uh, text file. So just keep that in mind. Um, if you want to bring up the menu, you're going to hit the minus and plus button at the same time. Just like that. So if you want to change any of the settings. So scaling, I have it as full. Scaling mode, aspect. Uh, show frames per second, I have it on. And then if you want to map out any of the buttons. Um, if you want to do your save states, you're going to go all the way down to states. You're going to select it with A. Now this is going to be all your save states on the bottom. So let's go back. Go back. So I have two games. I have um, Sonic the Hedgehog. Um, for the Genesis, and then I have a Sega CD game. So now we are going to look for our games. Like I said, they're going to be selected in white. Uh, this might take a little bit of time if you don't have a lot of ROMs. So there you go. There's Sonic the Hedgehog. So you're going to press A to load it. 
Now it's showing the frames per second. Um, and it's in widescreen. Uh, you can also have this uh, 4x3. This is going to be totally up to you. I'm just going to show you a little bit of gameplay. Um, you shouldn't have any issues with any of the systems. We're going to pause it. Uh, you can hit the minus and plus button to go to the menu. Uh, you're going to quit. It's going to bring you back to the game list. Now we're going to go all the way up to find the other game. And the Sega CD games must be in .bin, in .q format. There you go. Uh, Final Fight CD. So A to load it. So first, it's going to load the BIOS file. There you go, we're going to pause it, we're going to hit the minus and plus button to bring up the menu. Now we're going to quit, uh, press the home button, X to close it out, and there you go. Um, so that is how you install the PGen emulator on the Nintendo Switch. I will leave all the links that you're going to need in the pinned comment of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And on to the next one.